Hey, Steps class, this is a homework problem here, 8.4 homework set, and in it we're finding the p-value for a right-tilled test with a sample size of 11, a test statistic like this. So uh, p-value means the probability that we are this extreme or more extreme, meaning we are 3.187 standard deviations away from a mean or more. And this is our sample size, and it's the right tail test, so it's from this thing t towards the right tail. So just for a picture, this is a t distribution. Um, 3.187 would be way over here somewhere, all right? And because it's a right tail test, we're going to the right of that value. So this extreme or more extreme, meaning further away from the claim value of the mean. All right, and the way we do that with our calculator is you go under distribution and you find TCDF. All right. And TCDF, just like normal CDF, takes in a lower number and upper number. So the lower number here is 3.187. And the upper number, just like with normal CDF, we can use a whole bunch of nines. Okay. Now, the only difference is this is all you needed for. Uh, the normal CDF, if, if you're talking about uh, a, a test statistic of a Z equals a number. But with T, you need the degrees of freedom. The degrees of freedom is one less than the sample size, so we would tell it 10. All right, and then when we close that off, hit enter, it takes a little bit to think through. And then there's our number, okay, to four places, 0 0.0049. All right, now, if you get one like this that says two-tail test when you want to find the p-value, it's still the same thing. You um, use TCDF. The test statistic is 2.133. So down here is 2.133. All right, so the same thing. It's, it's as extreme or more extreme. So we're, we're further away from the center than that number. But because it's a two-tailed test, we also have to consider the opposite of that number, so negative 2.133, and everything to the left of that. All right, now we have two options with a problem like this. We can find this area, just like we did on the last problem, lower number, upper number, degrees of freedom, and then double it, because these two areas, because we're perfectly symmetric about the center whatever area we get right here on the right hand side is also going to be the same area for the left hand side. Okay. The other thing you could do is because you have to put a lower number and upper number, put negative 2.133 as the lower, positive 2.133 as the upper, and then your degrees of freedom, and then subtract that value from 1. And that will um, give you this area of the two tails combined also. So that's another possibility that you could do, and um, it would still give you the same thing. So either, either way is going to work. You just have to remember with TCDF to put that degrees of freedom at the end. That's the only thing really different between TCDF and normal CDF. All right, well, let's use the 2.133, and then comma, everything to the right of that, so a bunch of nines, and then comma, the degrees of freedom this time is 28 and hit enter, you can actually hit two times that um, to begin with, but you can also just double it at the end. So because it's a two-tailed test, we have to double this at the end. So 0 0.0418. All right, and then again, if you have used um, the other method, it's TCDF and done negative 2.133 to positive 2.133. And then told us that degrees of freedom also is still 28. All right, that's the area between those two, like on this picture. That would be the area in the middle here. And because the whole thing has to add up to one, we just take one and subtract that number. And we get that same number we got before. So either way will work. Um, double one tail 
or find the area between the two tails and then subtract that from one. Uh, it, but either way, that, that'll work. And here's an example from your homework for a left tail test. All right, left tail test, negative 2.881. So there is our picture of what we're doing. We're going everything this extreme or more extreme. So it's to the left of this number. So when we set this up, again, because it's T, TCDF, because the lower number now is to the left of this number, we just pick a big negative number, and then the negative 2.881 is our upper number, and then our degrees of freedom is 1 less than 12, so 11. 1 less than sample size. All right, so there's our number, and we're just uh, which one does this fall into? So it's definitely not D. It's bigger than that number. It's between those two for sure. It is not between those, not between those. So C is our answer.